the statement is pretty clear. This is the single worst decision the city council has ever made as long as I've been involved in it. Good evening. I'm Ashley Cottrell and this is Eagle News 97. Judy McCorkle was reinstated as city clerk Tuesday in a 3-2 city council vote. McCorkle was fired by city manager Shane Haynes in September 2008 for insubordination. Here's more of what Statesboro City Councilman Will Britt had to say about the situation. The biggest thing to me was we had already hired someone for the other two positions, for the positions she was filling. We hired one, we promoted two people from within. We didn't hire anyone new. Um, we've changed some things around in the city about where people were going. Shane had made some, made some changes in the areas of who reported to whom. Now when, when she comes back in that role, instead of the roles being split, now they're combined again. So you really affect three people. You affect one, the manager who dismissed an employee but now is being forced to work with the person. Number two, uh, you, a lady that's promoted to the city clerk now has to be demoted. Then you have the lady that was promoted to finance director has to be demoted. So there's a it's, I can't imagine the morale swing being good. You know, it's, you thought you were done with a situation. You've, you've, you've had that ugliness removed. And the ugliness not meaning the employee as much as the situation. McCorkle hired an attorney after her dismissal in September 2008. Last week, mediation between her attorney and the city resulted in two settlement options. A lump sum payment of $450,000, which the city would be responsible for, half, but would exclude the possibility of her being rehired or reinstated to her former positions at the city. With the reinstatement option, McCorkle will receive nearly $68,000 in back pay and $50,000 for attorney's fees, including full benefits. Statesboro City Councilman Joe Brannon, who voted with Councilman Lewis and Blitch to reinstate McCorkle, issued this statement to Eagle News 97. Brandon said, we had to weigh the different options. For me, it was all about saving the city dollars.